Paradise Dam is home to the Queensland lungfish, a vulnerable species found only in the Burnett and Mary Rivers. A fish ladder installed in Paradise Dam to assist the fish in moving along the river has proven ineffective, and a similar device is set to be installed in the proposed Traveston Crossing Dam. Save the Mary River campaigners believe the hype surrounding the release of the draft is an attempt by the government to draw attention from a court case which pits the Wide Bay Burnett Conservation Council against government-run sun water. With Traveston Dam, uh, the same problem is going to happen there and I believe that the government realises this and this is why that they have rushed in now to, to offset the damage that they can see is going to come out of the sun water case. But the Premier is pushing ahead with the Traveston project. Even with Traveston Crossing Dam, between now and 2050, we believe we will need at least two desalination plants. Without Traveston Crossing Dam, we will need another two and we'll need them earlier. So we need to make sure that water is affordable and a dam is a much cheaper option than more desal plants. Yes, people in Brisbane uh, shouldn't worry at this stage because the final report hasn't gone to Peter Garrett yet, but uh, you can be assured that the Brisbane group down here, uh, we're going to be actively working on your behalf to stop this dam in its tracks uh, and we'll let everyone know as soon as there's further developments on this. Federal Minister for the Environment, Peter Garrett, says that while he is aware of the government's concerns, he will only be factoring matters of national environmental significance into his decision. The final decision for the dam rests with the federal government. Sophie Benjamin, QT News.